So this question says, which of the following statements is true about the graph of the equation 2y? So I'm just write that down. 2y minus 3x equals negative 4 um, in the xy plane. So a couple of things here. First of all, if this is the equation of a line in an xy plane, I want to convert this into y equals m x plus b form. That's just going to be habit for me. Hopefully you follow me on that as well. So how do I do that? So again, I have my 2y minus 3x equals negative 4. I'm converting it into y equals mx plus b, which means I want to isolate the y on the left-hand side. So I want to move this 3x to the right-hand side by adding 3x to both sides of the equation. That removes it from there, leaving me with just a 2y on the left-hand side. And then I'd have my positive 3x and minus 4 on the right-hand side. Lastly, I'm dividing everything by 2 to isolate y fully. And now I have 3 halves x and negative 4 divided by 2 is just minus 2. All right, so the other thing is usually I would draw an xy plane here because it mentions it. I'd use a strategy I call plug-in picture, which just says anytime you read something that can be drawn, go ahead and draw it. However, I notice in my answer choices that there is there, these are all statements, right? So it's not like I'm looking for a particular point on a graph, right? So maybe I don't need the visual. So let's look at the answer choices and just determine that before I go off and draw a graph and you know figure out where the line is on that graph. So choice A says it has a negative slope and a positive y-intercept. Oh, okay, well, I can tell that just by looking at my equation. I know that my slope, which is this portion here, is positive. And I know that my y-intercept, which is this negative 2 here, is negative. So A is not right because, you know, it's, it's the reverse, basically. Choice B says it has a negative slope. Well, no, my slope is positive, right? So B is out. Choice C says it has a positive slope. Well, that's true. And a positive y-intercept. Well, that part is not true because my y-intercept is negative. So C is out. Lastly, choice D, it has a positive slope absolutely true, and a negative y-intercept, absolutely true, right? We see that here. Three halves is my slope. It's positive. Negative two is my y-intercept. It's negative. Therefore, choice D is the best answer here.